This video will illustrate the lateral area of a cylinder formula and the total area of a cylinder formula. The cross section of a cylinder is a circle. So you could say that a cylinder is like a lot of identical circles in a stack. Like this. Here's the lateral area of a cylinder formula. 2 pi r h. Notice the similarity of that formula to the circumference of a circle formula, which is 2 pi r. Finding the circumference of a circle is like finding the area of a very thin slice of the cylinder. If we multiply the circumference by the height, we must get the area of the curved side of the cylinder. Now let's look at the total area formula for the cylinder. We can use algebra to split this formula into these two parts. The first part is the lateral area formula again, 2 pi r h. The second part looks familiar. If we combine these two r's into an r squared, it looks like the area of a circle formula multiplied by a 2. Remember, the cylinder has two circles at the top and at the bottom. Therefore, this formula would find the area at the top and at the bottom of the cylinder. The total area of a cylinder formula simply combines the lateral area of a cylinder formula, 2 pi r h, and 2 times the area of a circle formula, 2 pi r squared. Now let's try using these formulas with an example. In our example, the cylinder has a radius of 4 units and a height of 9 units. The total area formula is 2 times 3.14 times the radius 4 times the height plus the radius, which is 9 plus 4. This gives us a total of 326.56 units squared. Now we'll apply the lateral area formula for a cylinder to the same example. This gives us 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 9. And that totals 226.08 units squared. Applying the circle area formula to the circles at the top and bottom of the cylinder, we have pi r squared, which is equal to 3.14 times 4 squared. Remember to square the 4 first before multiplying by pi in order to follow the rule of bed mass. This gives us a total of 50.24 units squared. To test whether the lateral area plus the area of the two circles really totals the same as the total area, we simply have to add some of these numbers together. The lateral area is 226.08 plus 50.24, one of the areas of the circle, plus the other circle, 50.24, gives us a total of exactly 326.56. Remember that your unit has to be squared. If you understand how these formulas really work, it's a lot easier to remember them and to use them. 